We're recording. Okay, welcome to another edition of our um, movie reviews. We are the best skit ever, and today we have just sat down and watched Monty Python's Life of Brian. And uh, I, I love this movie, and uh, he loves this movie, and he had never seen it, <laughs> and we were like, it's got to be because... It, it had to be done. At some point, we're probably just going to start doing reaction videos. <laughs> just have the movie playing in the background. We and could have do whoever hasn't seen it just sit there and comment on it. Uh, doing a commentary for a bad movie might actually be more fun. You mean like Mystery Science Theater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, Because uh, we are going to do the French. room at one point. Yeah. I can never remember what it's called. It's, they still do it, but now they do it for famous movies, too. Yeah, but they, they release it. Oh, Rift tape. Tracks? Yeah, Rift yeah, Tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, anyway, so we just watched this movie, and uh, since he hasn't seen... This is his first time seeing it, and we can talk more about it. Um, yeah. I've seen the other two Monty Python movies. Do you want to go first and <laughs> tell your uh, the, uh, reactions? I, <laughs> to me, it was just... It was basically... Well... It was a lot like um, Holy Grail in some of the comments that it, it like it makes. Yeah, yeah. It, it continues the style yeah, well, but yeah. I feel like this movie adds a layer of story that yeah. the other one didn't have. The other one was like, yeah, also lacking an ending that's a hundred percent non sequitur. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, but this I, one it, it was really good. I. I uh, just the whole thing with the with religion and that. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to make you go first. If you're, <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to force him to continue. What about religion? <laughs> well, I, I I mean it's just uh... <laughs> I had a stick to poke him, but I'm gonna have to do it with my finger here around around you. I'm doing it behind you. <laughs> Say smart things. <laughs> Say things like a professional reviewer. <laughs> Since when am I professional? Be good, damn it! <laughs> Become good at this suddenly. <laughs> good. This is well, the American education system in a nutshell. You will now be good at this. But but my <laughs> antisocial tendencies are kicking in. Romani ite domum. No 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 no. No, that's how you say it. Yeah, Romani ite domum. <laughs> God. Instead of uh, Romanus Aunt Domus. Okay. I never took Latin either, come on. Uh, we both we, took Latin. Do we want to just get the plot out of the way, even though it's insanely obvious? <laughs> yeah, okay, so as a note, this movie has been out since... 70... So if you haven't seen it by the, now... This is 2000. 1979, 1979 is yeah, when yeah. this film came out. So if you haven't seen it yet, you know, you're probably... Younger Living than under a are. rock. <laughs> You're probably younger than all three of us. Yeah. Like, uh, to be fair, uh, this, I think Steven out of the three of us is the youngest. I'm 22, yeah. 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 He's 22, he's seen it, he's also seen a lot of movies from the <laughs> I'm a cinephile, so that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. In, in case also young people who don't know anything about the roots of words, cinephile means he loves movies. It doesn't mean I get, you know, a sexual thrill out of them. Well, you do if it's a porno. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do judge them on their aesthetics. I've done that before. Too, so I know, right? <laughs> but isn't that what pornos were for? Aesthetics? <laughs> no, the sexual uh, sexual arousal of the movie. Yeah, except, you know, there's there's a lot yeah. of situational causality yeah. that those movies are relying on. So, yes. <laughs> yes. So, yes. if you haven't seen it yet, go see it. Basically, this movie is a send-up of... Films like The Life of Christ and, uh, what's that other one? The Jesus... Is it called Jesus. The Jesus Movie? What? There's a movie called okay. The Jesus Movie. It's stupid, but... Okay, okay, so far, when you're talking about the 70s, there were a lot of religious yeah, yeah, films yeah. that came out. You had... And, and that's not including, you know, movies like Jesus Christ Superstar, which... Jesus Christ! Which was an incredible musical. It's just... I haven't seen that one. I you haven't seen to. No, fun. I haven't. It's really well done, and it's more respectful to the source material than a lot of movies of that period were. I know it was just as hated as this movie was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was just as controversial. I don't know why. I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm sitting here, you know, non-denominational Christian since I was young enough to read, and 
this has no way whatsoever of offending me. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, with Jesus Christ Superstar, it's something about, like, they're implying that Jesus wasn't the Son of God or something. That's what my what? dad told me. What? Okay. I, I, I can understand. <laughs> I don't think he's seen it either, so. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's the accusation that was brought against the movie, you know, you could say that about any movie that features someone playing Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, duh. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a white guy pretending to be a Jewish guy. Yeah, Jesus probably wasn't, you know, European-looking. No. No. Wasn't African-looking, either. Or, it's unlikely, but... The Last so. Temptation of Christ, Martin yeah. Scorsese's film, that movie was yeah. hated, too. Well, that for was, that reason. For that reason, but it was also a just terrible movie. <laughs> I um, haven't seen it, but I know it's controversial. <laughs> it's controversial, but it's also just bad. It's controversial in this stupid way. It's controversial <laughs> in the stupid way that all of the movies that have come out in the past two years having the, <laughs> the Bible have been. As a note, the only one that was even... Eh, close to source material was the Bible miniseries that uh, I think it was History International did, and that still was full of, uh, for lack of a better term, Catholic stuffing. I think I've seen a little bit of that. Specifically, Catholic bullshit <laughs> being stuffed in stuff that has nothing to do with the source material, like uh, was it Mary Magdalene traveling around with the apostles? Fan fiction. Yes, fan fiction. <laughs> so pseudogrimma. <laughs> But. So, yeah, anyway, uh, we love this movie because mostly it's just really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just as a comedy, taking out anything, you know, religious, it's just really good, yeah. really good writing, really good. There's not yeah. a sequence in this film that does not play well, including the one with the spaceship. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's a thing that happens, and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like, <laughs> I brought up while we were watching the movie that there's a bit of biblical commentary going on there, but it's not even necessary. As a non-sequitur scene, it is just funny what ends up happening. But, yeah. It's like anything you see in the movie, to an extent you can read into it just because... Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, very, like, it's pretty much a comment scene, on something. The scene where uh, the guy's like, here, let me help you with that cross. He's like, oh, thank you. And he gives it to him and walks away. Like, I love that. Cause, yeah. Because <laughs> we all know the story. We know what's, you know, supposedly yeah. happened. Yeah. And, of course, you know, that was something that was big in every biblical film that's come out that was not the event in the Bible. The Romans conscripted... Uh, I believe it was Simon. Yeah, I think it was Simon. In order to carry Christ or aid Christ in carrying the cross. But everyone seems to portray it as this person willingly stepped forward, like, hey, can I help you? Yeah, it's, it's like, not uh -huh, dead. It wasn't no. that. When fact becomes legend, print the legend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because it is more interesting in some respects, I can understand. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing with uh, Ben Hur when that movie came out. Yeah. Because you have this uh, kind of similar commentary. And Life of Brian, you could see there's some blatant jokes being thrown at ben in the movie. But again, you're dealing with the Monty Pythons, who, as a group, most of them are, uh, to an extent, historians. These people have a profound interest in scholarly pursuit. Terry Jones himself has done several documentaries, actually has a master's in history. I don't remember what specialty he has. Yeah, they really know what they're talking about when they do this yeah. stuff. Smart comedies. It is really smart. Yes. Um, Something we need more of. We do need more of that. We do, yeah. <laughs> we, we definitely need more smarter. There's nothing. There's more no, smart. Yes. There's nothing worse. Check your grammar. <laughs> that is my grammar. What? <laughs> I mean, more and numerous of smarter movies. More smarter movies. Hmm. There's nothing. That is technically what I'm trying to say. That there, is technically what you're trying to say, but you know. It doesn't sound right. It there's, really doesn't sound right. <laughs> there's nothing worse when Great you, English! There's nothing worse when you see a comedian try to make a joke and they don't know what they're talking about. Which is why a lot of atheist comedians aren't that funny to me. And it's also the same reason why a lot of Christian comedians aren't funny to me. Because they don't know what they're talking about. Because they always decide <laughs> to target and make jokes about the subject that they know less about. Exactly. Which... It's straw man, which, basically. Yeah. And that's why I usually avoid most religious-themed things. <laughs> yeah. Because of... No, what's funny is when... Now, to be fair, there's also a lot of 
atheists making Christian or biblical movies that to an extent came out better than the <laughs> ones made by Christians, especially <laughs> nowadays. The yeah. more recent ones have been that way, because when you think about Left Behind... Well, yeah, I mean, the Ten Commandments was... <sighs> <laughs> they got Nicolas Cage to star in Left Behind. God damn Oh, it. yeah, 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 yeah. And... I thought you were saying that about the Ten Commandments. No, 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 I like, no, I didn't no, think no, it was no. that bad of no, a movie. No, the Ten Commandments was a very good movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could talk about Left Behind... But I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Another movie to avoid. Got it. <laughs> Definitely. I heard it was the worst thing. It's worse ever. It, when when you take a book series that's already bad and you try and turn it into a movie, you can't expect that to come out any better than the book. You really can't. There's very rare exceptions. If to you this. start with crap, you will end up with crap. Like always. Polish a turd and still a turd? Yes, it's just a smooth one. <laughs> like uh, the devil's advocate. I never saw that one. The book is horrible. The movie is a smidge better, but that's because the director kind of tightened things up. As they are wont to do in Hollywood. Yeah. Well, okay, here's the thing. It needed tightening. <laughs> Someone needed to take a, uh, a stool-firming agent before they <laughs> shot out that <laughs> And they did not. They, they needed less diuretic. Take stuff. a uh, take a uh, stool uh, hardener and stool softener and let them fight it out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's what happened. That's how the movie came out the way it did, or the book. The movie was still bad, but uh, not as bad. Anyway. Anyway, that is really off topic. That, yes. I I figure right. these can go off topic, and yeah. you know people aren't going to mind. Um. Especially when you're talking about the life of Brian, which itself goes off topic. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly. <laughs> There's an entire uh, anyway. d d devolution scene <laughs> where these people are in the stands of an arena and they're talking about the right of a man to be a woman. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but I think the reason why this movie works as opposed to something like Meaning of Life, which I don't think works as a movie, it, it's you can like it for yeah. the sketches... Yeah. But the reason why this movie works is because it already had a narrative structure to no. build on. Not to mention a wonderful narrative backdrop to work from. Yeah. Yeah. And make fun of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a beautifully shot film. It's got some nice stuff. And in the background, they go, cock a doo 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It was like adding their own mouth sound effects to different scenes. Because why not? What else are you well, going to do? Uh, oh, man. There's lots of uh, cross-dressing jokes. Oh, yeah, um, Terry, Terry Jones plays Graham Chapman's mother, Brian, in the yeah. movie, uh, plays his mother, and, you know, that's great. Oh, yeah. Always. It's like, I'm trying to think, how many roles did Jones have in the movie that were not women? <laughs> God. One. Because he, he was one of the guards at one point. I mean, he's a few extras here and there, but as far yeah. as... Because he did a lot more of the writing end of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than... He, well, he was basically the director of this movie. See, on, yeah. on Holy Grail, Terry Gilliam and Terry Jones had this kind of rift between them where each one of them wanted to be the director. Yeah. So when they came to this movie, they were like, no, I'm the director. Just, it's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah, do the yeah. animation, Gilliam. Yeah, so... Love the animation so much. The animation is great. There's very little of it, though. The, I, the, the opening titles, all I... All is, I they blew yeah. their animation budget on the opening titles. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... I love that art. I, I just love it. Yeah, yeah that, that, cut style. Out, that cut out style. And even today, with Gilliam as a director and producer, the work he he's is done great. is I just, really good. I recently watched the movie The Fisher King, which, if mm. you have not seen it, see it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's good. Uh, I want to see Brazil. I can't track down a copy of it, but I I've heard that's his best movie. I've seen Twelve Monkeys once, and I like it. Twelve Monkeys is pretty spectacular, and it's getting a series. I need it. Really? Yeah. Where? Sci-Fi. Oh, I can see that. Sci-Fi is doing a Twelve Monkeys series. I don't know if Gilliam's involved is in it, the project. Is it a remake, or is it like continuing the story? Or? I don't know. Hmm. It's like, the promos they've done for it are incredibly limited. Incredibly vague, yeah. Mm. But it it <laughs> seems like a big effing deal to me. That is a big deal. 
That's a cult movie. Oh, yeah. And Brad Pitt. Yep. No Brad Pitt in the series, thank God. <laughs> but He's a little too old. Yeah. Of course, I mean, I'm going to rag on Brad Pitt because I really don't like him as an actor, but... I do. <laughs> He's actually one of my favorites. Brad Pitt falls in the same boat for me as Matt Damon. They're both terrible. I, li <laughs> <laughs> I like both of them. Not all the movies they pick are good. His act, Team America World Police. <laughs> Man, damn but that doesn't mean <laughs> that doesn't mean they're bad in them. No, they're, okay, they're not necessarily bad in the movies they end up in. The problem is that they just, I don't know, their their performances are rarely believable to me. Probably why uh, Conan. No, no, not Conan. Uh, We're gonna have to watch the movie Seven. Damn it. Hmm. Movie the movie. Or you mean like Slevin? That... Seven. No, Seven. that's Lucky Number Slevin. Okay. That's like that's not not a good movie. That it's I, not a very good movie. Either. That's what I'm saying. Like he doesn't always pick the best movies. Yeah. And then not only does he not pick Jimmy the best Jimmy. movies, he then proceeds to perform lacklusterly in them. I like him. I don't know. I I can't. A rare point of disagreement, folks. This is this is like. <laughs> This, I don't this know. is a I, red letter day. I've always liked Brad Pitt. Seven, Fight Club, um, what's another good one? Those two are really good. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen either one of those? Uh, uh, Eventually, no, this series is going to evolve into Steven just, and I sitting uh, behind the camera and forcing Zach to watch movies while we record his reactions. I mean, I just... Is that not what this is already? I just watched... Are you not picking the movies just for me to watch, since both of you have been Thus far, seen? yes. Pretty we much, have. yeah. We are going to be doing one for Steven here soon. Though. I mean, I we just... did. We've already done Kung Pao, though. Well, we yeah, watched we didn't Kung do a, Pao, Yeah, we didn't do a review, review on that. We're it. not going to do a review on that. No. Don't need to. There's nothing no. to review there. Yeah, there's really nothing to review. <laughs> I mean, then, what's left of something that he hasn't seen that we've both seen? Hmm. See, that's uh, that's going to be a hard list. Well, I can record you two reacting to movies that I've seen that you haven't seen. If you guys wanted to do a TV series, I recommend Louie. Louie's interesting. We were going to try and do uh, Helsing Ultimate here at some point. Yeah, because they're trying to get me into anime. I wouldn't say we're trying to get you into anime. We're just trying to let you see some anime that are actually good. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen some bad ones. We've all seen bad yeah. ones. It's the same thing as watching any series. They're going to get 80% crap and 20% decent series. It doesn't matter if you're in the East or the West. 80% anyway. of everything is crap, yes. Yes. That includes humanity. Yes. Myself included. Utter crap. Just, just full of shit all the time. Yep, I've been saying that for years too. I actually had a conversation. That's so off topic. We've been we off topic. No, 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 no. <laughs> Humans being full of shit is also the point of life. Oh upright. yeah, yes. definitely. So, <laughs> so there. okay, not in terror. Not we've we, we've we, brought it back around, folks. We're right full circle. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what this movie is. This movie is full circle because all the characters they introduce at the beginning come back at the end. To whistle. <laughs> yes. About In the being greatest song ever. Try to find the bright side of being crucified yeah. and dying. Yes. Both optimism oh, and yes. nihilism all rolled into one, folks. Anyway, that's essentially what this movie is about, though. It's about conformity. It's about, you know, people getting it wrong. Yeah. Mm. Which Especially I noticed... cinema. Mm. Especially cinema. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I did see a lot of, the, like, the whole crowd and the, the whole... The herd mentality. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. The, a lot of that. With and then the, diver the, the different the, splits that occur. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, yeah. The schisms that occur the moment the person is not with them anymore. Yeah. Which... As a historical note, that took about 300 years for Christianity to seriously have schisms. And they condensed it into 30 seconds. And they condensed it into <laughs> yeah. 30 seconds. Very well, And the character not. was still alive <laughs> the entire time. Yeah. That said, that almost... Still. The specific yeah. one, Sandal versus Gord, uh, for me, is almost representative of <laughs> Islam, because that was within a generation. Yeah. That was literally his two nearest followers <laughs> immediately saying... Fuck you to the other guy and going their separate ways. That's where you get Sunni and Shia. 
but when you're talking they're about... like the Hatfield and the McCoys of the Middle East yeah actually that's, that's pretty close except <laughs> I always both loved sides are still alive <laughs> I always loved that analogy yeah it's like but Sydney and Shia still exist today but you know they managed to not well so do the Hatfields and the McCoys you don't yeah, know they could be they out do. in West Virginia no no they do they do still <laughs> exist because members yeah. of the family did leave they're all marrying their cousins no, no, I mean, one of them <laughs> moved out to the West Coast after the family died, I mean, and all of it was a land grab, but anyway, <clears throat> sorry, that's me watching the Hatfield. This is how our minds work. <laughs> yeah. We but, still have the minds of 13-year-olds, we can't stay on one subject for too long because one subject reminds us of another subject, and is, that subject reminds us of another subject, and that other subject reminds us of the life of Brian. Well, yeah. the idea about this conversation is we would be having this conversation anyway, even if the camera wasn't running. So... Yeah, we may not all be sitting on one We're couch, inviting but... you to be voyeurs into our discussion. And participants. I mean, if you guys have something to say, we will be... I mean, if you be absolutely the... hate this movie, <laughs> let us know. I will come to your house and kill you. <laughs> well, maybe not Steven, because he's not just the youngest of us, he's the smallest and frailest. Yeah. But also, Zachar <laughs> may, might show up. Also, my lack of uh, talking in this is very... It, it works here, too. Anyway, also, I, I, don't talk so, I don't talk so much if you can get, off camera. If you can get this movie on DVD, it's really the best. I believe it is on Netflix, but it has a whole second disc of bonus materials that are also incredible. And if you're like me and love bonus material, this movie is a treat. They have, yeah. like, the whole screenplay... On there, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> yes. <sighs> so, yeah. Also, a thing to check out, which is really funny, that I just recently rewatched that connects to this movie is when this movie came out, Michael Palin and John Cleese went on a British talk show where they invited a bishop and some other guy who's also religious uh, to debate them on this movie. And uh, it's really funny because <laughs> the... The the guys are like, you know, 80-year-old stuffy British guys, and they're like, this film is so 10th rate, and it's so, so juvenile. It, it will never be remembered within a year. Here we are in Here 2014. We are. Here we, yeah, 35 this years movie, later. 35, this movie yeah. is universally acclaimed as, like, one of the greatest satires of all time. So... <clears throat> Good call there, guys. Yeah. You really nailed it. I think they're dead. It, it, I'm Palin and... I'm speaking to their spirits. You're speaking to ghosts. Please don't do that. Do you believe in ghosts? Not strictly speaking. Okay. I don't, don't. don't. I don't, so. Just, just don't. <laughs> don't do it. However, Michael Palin and John Cleese are still alive, so... Yes. Good on you guys. One of my favorite people, John Cleese. One of your favorite people? Ever. Yeah. John Cleese, you are a wonderful, wonderful human being. Keep doing. We love you. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. It, it, and it thank you magic. for being on Over the Garden Wall. <laughs> Everything you do is magic. Including Over the Garden Wall. Yes. Which I need to see now. I've got... I've been recording the entire thing. We'll, we'll watch it this weekend. Nice. Yes. Seven years in Tibet. That's another good Brad Pitt. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And back to the tangent. <laughs> back to a different tangent. Um, yeah. Seven years in Tibet was okay. I liked it. He's good. And the Oceans movies. There no, we go. absolutely not. Those are terrible. You don't terrible. like those movies? I fucking hate those movies. They're so much fun. I mean, they're intentionally stupid. Yeah, it's like, okay, but... there's a point where you cross the line from intentionally stupid into just stupid. So it's better than the Italian job. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's weird that the Italian job has Edward Norton in it and Ocean's Eleven has Brad Pitt in it. Yeah. I want to see a crossover. <laughs> Fight job. <laughs> Given that they were both in that. Well, that's why uh, Italian Job got made, because Ocean's Eleven got popular. And they're like, hey, let's remake a famous heist movie. and Let's remake a famous heist movie that came out last year. <laughs> Don't you love Hollywood? Well, I've seen the original Italian Job with Michael Caine. Yeah. So, that movie's silly, too. And the original Ocean's Eleven is silly, too. Yeah. So, it's not like they were trying to make cinema. 
I mean, it wasn't as bad as the uh, three remakes of The Last Man on Earth. Yeah, we talked about that one last time. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, they're, they're fun movies. They're silly, you know. Yeah. You have to turn your brain off. It's like, for me, a fun, silly movie, unfortunately, is movies that you have to have your brain on to really get what's going on. So stuff like Life of Brian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, as an, from an analytical standpoint, the movie is funnier if you know what's going on. If you don't know what's going on, you'll still get a laugh. You can but, still yeah. appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It's like, you'll still get the, uh, the religious jokes. You'll still get the... It's because it's been hammered into our civilization. Yeah. It's part of our uh, cultural policy. It's to... where Jesus was born. Yeah. However, you've got your history buffs. Your history buffs, <laughs> including the ones who made the movie... The jokes, the little subtle jokes that they throw in are the ones that really are <laughs> funny. I mean, it's the same thing when you look at um, Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail. That movie is severely unfunny compared to The Life of Brian if you don't know what's going on. If you know what's going on, it's uh, almost as funny. I don't know. I didn't know. I did do not know that much about medieval history. Yeah. And I still enjoyed that movie. I mean, you can enjoy it, but... <laughs> oh, it, yeah. I mean, it's... Compared to Life of Brian, it is not nearly as fun. Oh, I agree. This from, is their best Even from movie. a you know, standing back perspective where you have no idea what's going on, you will laugh more at Life of Brian. <laughs> because it plays more on that cultural basis of understanding. Especially in Western cultures. Yeah. So there are very few... You have to be more nerdy to uh, appreciate mm -hmm. Holy Grail. Yeah, and if you're a medievalist, better on you. Anyway, uh, anything else to say? Anything else to say <laughs> on the life of Brian? Um, I, I think I already said uh, Romani Ite Domum. Sorry for us not doing like a play-by-play -play kind of a thing. Oh. You know, like some people do. They'll break down the entire story, but that's hard for us. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll do that with some other stuff when we have time to actually, like, I don't know, write a script for a review? Yeah. yeah. If we ever decide to do that? I don't think we if, should. <laughs> if we decide to go into that kind of nostalgia critic uh, style review, maybe we'll do that. But this um, is more organic. The, yeah, yeah, I know. This is more <laughs> off the cuff, so. Yeah. I think that covers it. Um, next week, what do we want to do? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm deciding. It's like, do we want to start doing a series? We should do an old movie. Old movie. How about Nosferatu? I have seen Ooh. that. Um, Silent movie. Possibly. <laughs> possibly. So, I don't know. Oh. I usually prefer reviewing movies that I can talk about more. You can't talk much about Nosferatu? I mean, I can talk about, you know, as much as anybody knows about it. It's a German expressionist piece that was made in pre-World War II Germany. Yeah. Uh, it's silent. There's a reference to it in Dumbo, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> it was referenced in fucking SpongeBob. What are you? <laughs> yeah, I think it's been it's been referenced in Adventure Time once. God. <laughs> so, yeah, we could do that. Um, I don't know. We'll think on it. Yeah. I kind of want to watch Sunset Boulevard again. Have either of you two seen that? I'd kind of like no. to do a movie that you haven't seen either. I haven't seen Sunset Boulevard yet. That might be a good one. To Sounds talk. familiar. We'll probably do that. Um, like us on Facebook, best get ever. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm doing uh, some text reviews of some movies I've seen. I just wrote one on Snowpiercer, so if you want to know what I think about that, go on our page and read that. Uh, Zach um, is going to do uh, uh, the I'm, Mother yeah, series. Mother, well, mostly Earthbound, but have... yeah, some other series. Yeah, we're we're sorry for not uh, having a video up last week. Uh, this guy was sick, and uh, so we weren't able to do yeah. get to I'll, um I'll start trying to do reviews of something at least once a week, or notes, or spoilers, or whatever else I can get my hands on. Yeah, we're, we're getting better at this. So. We're trying. <laughs> I'm getting better at talking on camera, so... Uh, I'm still trying to open out of my <laughs> social shell and here. He's not a social butterfly. <laughs> and keep an eye out I'm for not as, I'm also not as trained in, I'm also not as well trained in criticism. 
<laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> I'm the only person here who has formal training in being a critic. I have no formal training and in anything whatsoever. I hate I, formal training and well, criticism. I've made a lot of movies, so I feel like that they suck. But they exist, so I have more experience than some people. <laughs> Almost all of my writing work has to do with video games and tabletop games, so those are where my criticisms mostly lie, also the academic community. So if you ever want me to be a stuffy, boring old man reading some book, tell me what book you want me to read, and I, I will try and give you guys a short review. And, and I just hide in the corner. <laughs> I'm just gonna go play Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Hooray for, <laughs> hooray for being an outcast among we're, outcasts. We're all outcasts. I, I, I felt, I've felt I've been an outcast even among outcasts. <laughs> go away. <laughs> and with that, I think we'll wrap I up. I think we will wrap yeah. this up. We will see you guys next <clears throat> week. This video will probably be up uh, Saturday or Sunday. I think so. Okay. See you then. Alright, you guys have a good uh, week. Always look on, on the, the bright, bright side, side of life. <laughs> <laughs>